developing news now, a wild story in Fontana. A woman was shot dead, and then officers found the suspect lying in wait for them. CBS 2's Candace Crone is live in Fontana to explain how this all played out. Candace. Yeah, right now police are questioning witnesses and sifting through security video to try and learn more about what happened. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see that white pickup truck there. That is the vehicle authorities say that the suspect used as a shield when police showed up. This whole incident has had people on edge all morning. Fontana police were called to this neighborhood just before 2 a.m. for reports of gunfire. Investigators say the 18-year-old suspect shot and killed a 50-year-old woman inside a home on Mountain High Drive. Neighbors say the man then started pounding on several doors and firing even more shots, hitting people's property. I heard three shots, so I got up, came downstairs to check what was going on. Um, I heard banging. The suspect didn't give up easily. Police say when they pulled up, the man was hiding behind the passenger side of a white pickup truck with a scoped AR-15 style rifle aimed right towards them. The officer fired at least one round at the suspect, uh, missing him. Um, but that round, that gunshot actually caused the suspect to surrender. I saw him when they he dropped the weapon, put his hands up. He seemed a little disoriented because he put his hands up, he put him back down on his head, he put his hands up, um, slurred speech. The gunman was not hurt and police say no shots were fired at officers. Investigators say the suspect and victim know each other, but it's unclear if or how they're related. People who live in the area say it's normally quiet and they can't understand what led up to this deadly shooting. Really crazy because, I mean, hearing the gunshots, that just, we, we don't hear that around here very often. And back out here live, that Spectrum van that you see there, that actually was hit with at least one bullet. So officers are processing uh, that vehicle. Uh, the victim's family did show up, but understandably, they were too distraught to talk. At this point, the suspect's identification as well as the victim's have not yet been released. We're live in Fontana. Candace Crone, CBS2 News.